What's going on guys? Today I wanted to talk about the new Lamborghini Aventador S. of what it should be uh, you probably saw the picture in the previous clips or uh, as the thumbnail and that's why you clicked on this video because it says Aventador S and I just wanted to talk about that um, it's supposed to be facelifted uh, rear uh, diffuser is supposed to be more aggressive the exhaust is supposed to be more aggressive um, I'm not really sure what's really official about it but been lots of shots of new Ventadors, new facelifted Ventadors, uh, testing around Nurburgring and surrounding roads and stuff like that. And we're finally seeing some figures, some projected figures possibly, and we're going to see the actual car at Geneva in 2017, hopefully. I mean, I think personally that Lamborghini released the SV too soon, the Aventador SV, way too soon, uh, comparing it to the Murcielagos, the Murcielagos SV release, that was like the final Mercy, but now they're coming out with a new Aventador with possibly 740 horsepower, 10 horsepower less than the um, SV, and it's supposed to have an updated ISR um, transmission that was used in the original Aventador, independent shifting rod transmission or something like that. Um, it's supposed to be less clunky, clunky, clunky. It's supposed to be less clunky. It's supposed to be faster, uh, better in traffic, because that's what everybody used to complain about, is that the first ISR was so slow in traffic but, you know, it gave you that aggressive punch when you needed it, when you're um, chucking down fast roads and stuff like that. And so that's supposed to be updated. It's supposed to be smoother, but it's supposed to be the same transmission, not the dual clutch that's in the Hurricane. So same transmission, same V12, horsepower bump, 10 less than the SV, uh, facelifted front end, and rear diffuser and what also seems so weird but it isn't is that I feel like the Aventador, Aventador has been running for a long time but it really hasn't it's only been out for four or five years or something like that when the Murcielago was out for almost 10 years so we we have a long long uh long a long run to go with the Aventador a few more years uh, maybe we'll see a SV Plus model or something like that. That's absolutely insane. That blows the SV that just came out out of the water. Um, yeah, that's that's just pretty much it. Uh, new Ventador S. I think they're coming off of like what they did with the original Mira. They did the Mira S and then the SV. But we're seeing it backwards this time. I have no idea. And... Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about Lamborghini coming out with a brand new Lamborghini Aventador S horsepower bump, little facelift, rear end lift, stuff like that? What do you guys think? Comment below and like the video if you found this informative in any way. And before you leave, one more time, go check out Columbus Exotics. They're going to be posting a brand new video any day now. I'll put the link in the description again, and you'll probably see the card uh, somewhere around this general area. And yeah, just go check them out. They're going to be putting out some awesome content in a few days and in the coming year. They got some great guys on it. It's The, the cinematography is going to be out of control. I can't wait until they drop this next video. And yeah. 
uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video, and I will catch you in the next one. Expect it. I expect you to expect it. See you later.